Welcome back to House Slipper. If you haven't seen the last episode, we did the first few missions and the first house and what... Apparently I can stand on a bush. But uh, for now, I think I want to do a few of the normal places so I can start doing tiling. And then we will do, I think, probably two more houses. So I guess let's quickly go and do a few of the normal missions. Oh god, oh, uh, uh, um, uh, okay. Ooh, pop that in. Oh god, oh no, oh no, I'm horrible at this. I may have made a bit of a mess on the floor there and at the sink because I've put the um, building to hard. But he, they won't mind. Their problem now, not mine. And if they didn't want their water over the place, they probably shouldn't have gotten me to go and do it. You know, this room actually looks nice. It's decorated. It's decorated. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually a room. This is nothing like what I would ever make. Everything sort of matches properly. I can't do that. And as usual, since I have some leftover paint, I might as well do the roof as well. Yeah, no one gets away from me painting their roof. It has to be done. Okay, well, there's that room done. Also, my god, the size of that paint bucket, it's... Like, I know it's meant to be a big paint bucket, but, but that's... Like, look at the size of the, 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 the chair compared to the paint. I don't know, anyway, let's get to painting. And why is their washing machine in their kitchen? You know what? I'm not gonna question these people and their decisions. There we go, room done. On to the next one. And they did a pretty bad job at painting, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, look, they've missed some of those bits, this whole bit here, this part here. Now, why do they wanted me to come and do the uh, the, pa the painting? Because, I mean, I'm not saying I'm good at painting, but I'm saying I'm a little bit better than what they are. This room's done, then this room's done, and this room is done. How much we... Actually, wait, progress. Because it's not done. Oh, we're going to paint this walkway as well. Now we're done. And we get $6,000 for this job. I will take it. We're getting into tiling. So I'll be able to do this job. And then we'll be able to start working on the houses. Oh god, now I remember how slow this is. Because you grab one. And then you choose where to place it. And then you plonk it on. And it... Oh god, I forgot. I forgot this takes so long to do. We're now moving on to a house. We're going to do the burned house. And we'll do the other one. So uh, let's buy the house and go. Here we are. And now, the thing that I usually do is come through and just sell everything. I probably shouldn't have sold the front door. You know what? A Christmas door works. Christmas door works fine. Okay, there we go. Everything's sold. Now, let's see. Can I clean this? Okay, I do need to clean the ash up. Oh... But this one in this room can't be cleaned because there's just too much on the floor. So I guess first things first, I should probably figure out what I want to do for some of these floors because I need to figure out if they can be cleaned or not. But this room, I do have an idea for. So I'm going to have to quickly cut this room in half, I think. Yeah, I want this house to actually look decent, but I still want it to be interesting. You'll, we'll figure out what this room is soon so i guess first thing that we need to do now is figure out the floors okay, i'm gonna go ica wood panels just for in this room i'm gonna go from there to there looking good i don't know i'm just gonna go with a normal tile i guess whatever a normal tile i guess would, would even be so there okay this isn't normal but it's good enough okay now we need to figure out what we're gonna do out here what about mahogany how does that look a bit better. Okay, there we go. Now, I actually know what needs to be cleaned. Yeah, I'm going to also do the walls real quick, just so I can actually see all the dirtiness as well. Just make it a little bit easier. I mean, I can tell that up, up here definitely needs to be done. But okay, I guess we should probably start in here, which is going to be the bedroom. I probably should have chosen a bigger room for the bedroom. Unless, wait for it, we open this up real quick. And we can build a wall like here, I think. There we go. Now I can take down these walls. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this will be the bedroom. We need a bed for this room. We just had one bed and then had a bedside table, but I decided to do this. And now we can have a little cabinet sort of thing real quick. 
There we go. Look, does this not almost fit perfectly? Wait, if I were to open it in, in way, in the inward. Yeah, look, it fits perfectly. Yeah, there we go. Bedroom done. Actually, it does need some lighting real quick. I guess we could probably get this. Oh, I thought it would be a bit bigger. Uh, it's fine. I'll do that. We need a light switch. There we go. Now we turn it on and off. I mean, that's all we really need in here. And we can even add a window. Because I guess people in here may, might deserve a window. Actually, you know what we could do for this room? Um, let me quickly see how these look. Uh, that's too big. Okay. Then we're going to have to go with this one. And we'll put this like right up. Can't put it any higher. Oh, I guess that'll do. Because I mean, it's, it's, it's the bedroom. We don't want anyone peeping in. And you know what? While we're at it, I'll even add a decoration. There we go. Look at that. You can turn the light on. Decent lit up in here. Turn it off. You have a little holographic plant here for nighttime. You have your little plant up here. And that's the bedroom done. And oh my god, after being in that bedroom and walking out here, this is a monstrosity. So I guess let's uh, fig figure out how we're going to do this. I mean, first things first, I will do the kitchen area. I couldn't find any things that worked with real well, so I'm going to have to build my own kitchen. We've got everything we need for the kitchen. Now let's try and put it together. Okay, so that goes in the corner. This will go along this wall. Put this on the end. Probably should have end things, ending things, but it's fine. We'll have this over here. And another ending one there. Probably move this over to this side. And then we need uh, one of those vent things. I can't remember what they're called. The exhaust hood. That's what it's called. So we get one of them. Plonk it up there like this that above this because we also need a cooktop which there we go look at my beautiful kitchen now i get to do the tiling that will go along here it's a little annoying that this doesn't match up with the thing i'm not gonna get annoyed <laughs> i'm gonna get annoyed but it's fine i'm not annoyed that this doesn't match up i'll never see this place again after we sell it so it's fine but now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do for all the other walls. You know, we get we'll go water abyss. It might match in with this a little bit, but actually it doesn't match in with this. Uh sort of. Too much is the same colour can be bad. I think it'll be fine. You know what? We'll do a feature wall. No more of that colour. We'll do this wall and that little bit a different colour. Like sunny orange. It's a bit orange, but it's fine. And it's actually very orange. I didn't think it was as, but it's fine. Now I also need to figure out how I'm going to fit like a lounge room sort of thing into here. You know what, look, we'll get a folding table. It just fits, but yeah, if we get a folding table, then you can fold it down when you don't need it. And then push it against the wall. Thinking with brain today. Uh, so we need some chairs for it. They sort of match. I guess we could just get like two of them. Um, and that's probably all I can really fit up here. Actually, mm, I was thinking I'd have a back door here. But if we actually just move this over to here okay we'll obstruct this a little bit unless we move this over but then you won't be able to have that unless you had that in this corner i have the idea can we move this over i can move it over too do i we will okay there we go that's a little bit better because now there's actually a bit of room between these now we can move these chairs over real quick because now I have a bit more room over here to try and fit something in. But yeah, I've, uh, kitchen might be a little bit cramped now. You might want to always have this down unless you're eating. So you can have a bit more room. But we have the lounge here. And now you you may be a bit close to the TV, but that's fine. Now we could go the small, the medium, the large, or the extra large. You ought to get the extra large. Oh my god! Yeah, we don't need that one. We, we, we definitely... What is medium? How is that medium? Is it the TV? Is it maybe the Rame TV? I, I, need, I just need a hanging TV. Here you go, wall-mounted TV. Whew, that's a bit better. There we go. Mm, my favorite show, the Luxury Flipper. Let's change the channel. Filler. Mm, also good. Thanks for being... Yep, thank you. Uh, what about this? Hey, that's my YouTube channel. You should subscribe if you haven't already. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it on that for now. Pretty well done in here. Actually, no, we need lights. There we go. I chose some nice lights, I think. I mean, I'd say there's some nice lights, if I do say so myself. 
because I might put a window there. I don't like how you can't choose the height of the windows. Like, I want this to be a bit lower, but I can't. They go lower, but that's like too low. Well, I guess if I want my windows to have a shutter, we're going to have to go with this one and just have it be quite a bit high. But there you go. And uh, can I close the shutters if I'm on the outside? No, seems I can't. Now we need a door for the bathroom. We'll go with this one and then put, make all the little spaces white. Or they can be see-through. Um, that works too, I guess. Yeah, this is going to be the bathroom. So if it's going to be the bathroom, we need... I think a tiled wall. We'll go with these ones, I think. Uh, last few here. Now I think we'll leave, just have these walls be like that. So now we sell that. And now we get to painting the rest of them. We need toilet plumbing, which will go, we'll do that like here. Mm, doesn't matter. Now shower will go here. But if, it, if I can do the shower that I think I can, which I'm going to have to quickly test that out. Yeah, I was thinking of doing this shower. Because, yeah, it doesn't have any of the things on the side. Haha. -ha. And then we put on the head. And it's done. Look at that. And then there's the drain there. And if it doesn't drain, it doesn't matter because the rest of it, because this is like a stone anyway. I'm a genius. Probably should have put tiles there. It's fine. Uh, but now we also need a sink. I'll just put this thing like there. Okay, now we put everything together. And now we have a little sink with little stuff so you can keep stuff there. Now we need a mirror. Of course, you can't have a thing without a mirror. Damn, you need to have this mirror up high. But it's their fault. It's their fault for having that. So close. Uh, so we have the mirror, the shower, the toilet. And now we get to get go into this room. And here we go. Ica wood panels we can do for the walls. So place that. And now we can do the paneling. Oh my god, paneling is so fast. Throw the thing at the wall and it's done. Now, I don't know if anyone can maybe guess what I'm making from how the walls look. Because I don't know if this is like how all places look. Or all of them look. But from my knowledge, this is how the things look. I'm also going to have to do the roof with the Ica wood. Okay, there we go. We have a nice wooden room. And now what do you do with wooden rooms? As I was saying, what do you do with wooden rooms other than have a sauna? Let's get the heater. There we go. I don't know what the head lift is. I don't know if that's if you're maybe lying or laying down, maybe. I'm not too sure. Anyway, so this will go in the corner. Then we grab the sauna bench. Do that. Uh, we'll do it here as well. So I can work with this. Just do that. And then I think this does need to be turned like that. There we go. Okay. Now we can have the thermometer. I think they can go on the outside and the inside. Uh, we'll also add a sauna timer, which I didn't even know was a thing. Uh, we'll just do it with this, because I think this can go on the wall, can't it? Yeah. Put that there like that. Now, sauna with ladle. I'm pretty sure you need that, because people put that's where you put the water on this. So we'll put that like over here. Now, that's everything we need for this. Actually, we'll get some roll towers as well. Oh, the roll towers can actually fit in there. Oh no, we'll put a few roll towers down there. And now we need lights. And here it is, sauna lamp. So we'll grab this, put that in the corner up there. Put one in this corner and that corner. Yeah, we need a light switch for in here. There we go, look at that. You can come in here, do this. Might be a little, less, a little bit less light, you can do that. Put the water in. You have your own homemade sauna. You have a sauna. You have your bathroom. You have a living room. Kitchen. Dining table. And bedroom. What else could you possibly need? I mean, sure, you could have had a more spacious house if you just didn't have the sauna. But it's a sauna. And I saw the opportunity. And I absolutely took it. I think I'm ready to sell the house. Put an auction. Come on. Come on. $8,000. Profit. I think for a sauna, we could do a bit better, but I don't think I have haggling unlocked yet. It's dirty. Right, right. Uh, refuse offer. Um, I completely forgot we need to do the outside. I can't believe I forgot this. So, first things first, actually. Um, walls, wall panels. You know, we'll do, we'll do this. 
we'll, we'll panel panel the outside. I think I'll probably need like maybe four. Uh, yeah, let's quickly panel the house, I guess. Oh, you can see my plan in the window. Let's go. And here we go. One, two, and three. We're done. Now, let's quickly clean it up a little bit. I don't know. I might have to get a better uh, thing for cleaning at some point because there's a few bits that I can't quite get. But, you know, it's basically a bit cleaner. So we're going to get 8,000 last time. I have spent a little bit more money on it this time. But let's see. Oh, I asked a penalty for cancelling the auction. Oh, damn it. Okay, I made an extra thousand dollars of profit, but I also lost a thousand from cancelling the auction. It's the same dude, and he still said it's a bit dirty. He must be a bit of a clean freak. But there's little bits that I couldn't get, so I'm sorry, sir. But this time, I will accept the offer. Yeah, I'd say that went pretty well. And uh, before we end this off, I, I said I was going to do two houses. We're going to do ours a little bit, I think. I'm going to at least clean mine up a little bit, because... I don't want to die before the end, before next episode. And if we stay in this place with how it is now, we are going to die before the next episode. So I guess first things first, let's sell the stuff we don't need. Like that's broken. Don't need that. Don't need this rug or this. We'll keep the bed because it's our first bed. These tools and stuff we can sell for a little bit. Now again, I think we must there must have been a murderer here or we are a murderer before we did this because why we have an axe and a chainsaw and all these things i don't know now we don't need i do this every time now uh let's get an actual front door you know we'll get a we'll get a grand double door bonk it out place it bam double doors into their home yeah we have seventy thousand dollars to spend which we need to make sure to save save like fifty five thousand i'll say which we're not going to spend that much on this home. Yeah, we will grab the computer. <laughs> Almost just smashed it. Uh, so yeah, we'll move that over here real quick. Move the bed over to here. Now we can have a bedside table here. Now, bathroom. We will build here. But you know what? We will lock down this bathroom. This bathroom will be on lockdown. Beautiful. Now, I guess we should actually figure out how we're going to do this bathroom. Which I think I'm going to do sort of what we did before with the ground being stone so we can have just an open shower. Do that, there we go. Now let's put in the installations we need for everything. Installations, for assembly, shower, plumbing, sink will go over here. There we go. Shower, place that in there like that and let's get assembling. I mean, it's pretty easy to assemble. Oh, we also need to unscrew it. I forgot to do that at the other place. I wonder if the price would have gone up if I actually unscrewed the shower. We'll keep it futuristic to the best of my abilities. Now we have bit. Wait. Oh, you can turn the lights off. If I knew that, I would have gotten some of the other things. Like, they'll look like this because I didn't like how it lights up. Anyway, toilet time. Guess we just get the compact one because it looks the fanciest. There we go. Is this let more compact than my last than the last bathroom? I actually think so. Does it look like it has more room? I don't think so. Uh, let's go get some walls done in there though. Yeah, you know, we'll go with these ones. These these ones seem nice. Bathroom is now done. Now we need to paint out here. I guess I could also do wall panels, but panels don't really work for in here. There's wallpapers that I could do, I guess. You know, I said I wanted it to be futuristic, so why not go futuristic? That's it. We're going futuristic. I don't care what you say. You can't stop me. It doesn't quite glow, but it's good enough. It's honeycomb. You know what? We're making this futuristic because it's a uh, home. Uh, it's, a, it's a base of operation, so it needs to be high tech. Now, there is a little area, a little area where we're sleeping. I will do a different thing. I guess we'll go paint. I was thinking black. Like, I don't know if you can buy big chalkboards in this game. Because I feel like having a chalkboard, like, around your bed is just cool. But we need a kitchen, don't we? Uh, let's just get a already made kitchen. And we get this one. Buy now. Place it over here. Even this part here glows. What? Uh, I feel like there's really not much room to have it here. Unless I put my bed over here. But then I want my bed in this little area. So at least we've got a kitchen. I can even open that. Put myself in the oven if I want to. Disclaimer, don't put yourself in the oven. It is not a good idea. 
Okay, now we need a little desk. And by that, I mean probably just a bedside table. Put it against the wall. There we go, beautiful. Grab the computer, place it there. Perfect. Now, we need some lights for this place. I mean, even that could probably be enough light, but uh, no. Small lamp. Extra small, small, medium, or large. We'll go large, and we'll go blue, because we have a bit of a theme going on. Now, if I were to do that, it can link up. And we'll do the same over here. This one will be orange, though. I don't think you really can get orange. You can get yellow. Probably the closest I can get. And we need a light switch, which I presently don't have. We've got to have this one, of course. That actually looks... <laughs> I actually like how that looks. Now, this, you probably don't, we probably don't even need these ones, honestly. I mean, look at this. Tell me <laughs> you don't want this. Uh, I might move the bed over a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, I feel like you could do some really cool designs with these lights. Because, like, how big do the small ones get that's actually like pretty small so you could probably do some designs with this but yeah i am happy with what we got done today we built a house which i'm happy with how it turned out and we've somewhat redone this place i mean it's definitely better than what it was like you can have a shower toilet wash your hands then you actually have a kitchen you can do some cooking cooktop uh sink you know area to store stuff and then your bed with our thing and lights I mean, we don't really need much else in this place. I mean, the next thing you could probably do is just moving into a new house. <laughs> probably uh, the best option. But um, yeah, I'm happy with how this turned out. And if you did enjoy the video, please do think about liking and subscribing. It really does help me out. And let me know if there's any design things you might want to see me try and attempt. But um, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.